Hey plant gang, I'm here in front of a shrub rose. Rosa X hybrida is typically how you'll see this one listed. Uh, my goal for this video is for you to recognize a rose when you see it. There are a lot of different roses. They're not all like you see when uh, you go and you get one for Valentine's Day. They're not all exactly like that. Uh, there are a variety of different roses, uh, shrub roses, carpet roses that grow very low to the ground, hybrid tea roses, which are the ones that you're familiar with maybe for Valentine's Day, uh, but all have a variety of characteristics that are very similar. Uh, they all love full sun. Uh, they all really thrive in the heat of summer. They come in a variety of colors. And so we're going to talk to you about knowing a rose when you see it. So you're looking at a rose right now that is considered a Floribunda type rose. Uh, you can see uh, that the foliage of the rose uh, has slight serrations on the edges. A lot of times you'll see some red or burgundy coloration along the petioles or on the stems. Uh, roses are known to have thorns uh, and there are a variety of different roses, some with more thorns, some with less thorns, even some with thorns that are ornamental because of their size and their color. Uh, so roses come in a variety of colors, pinks, or oranges, whites, reds, a variety of peaches. So a lot of different uh, colors that roses come in. So roses are susceptible to a variety of pests and diseases, fungal diseases, black spot, uh, some different things. They're, they are helped by me being out in full sun, uh, which is really where a, th a rose will thrive. Uh, Typically, when you have a lot of roses together, they actually need more care because of the disease pressure. In the last 20 years or so, there really has been a rise in what we call shrub type roses. You may have heard of knockout rose. That's a shrub type rose. A disease called rose rosette has impacted uh, knockouts in particular, but all roses are impacted by a disease called rose rosette, which acts like a virus in the rose and you'll see really distorted kind of grotesque foliage uh, on uh, a rose that has rose rosette uh, and that rose actually needs to be completely removed. Here's a landscape tip. When choosing a rose, pick the disease resistant cultivars and place in full sun. 